Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the cold steel rubber training knives. Uh, that has the style of a tanto shaped blade with, with that special D-guard handle. Uh, cold steel make the same knife of course as a real version and also as a dagger version with a dagger blade there instead of the tanto and uh, currently in USA that is pretty sold out especially the dagger version because that is a absolute dangerous knife if you come to closer combat and all that with the with the D guard and the double edged blade with the, a certain size like we have it here that is for sure quite a, a combination that can be harmful a lot so not that you think wrong I did not buy those those rubber knives I did uh, buy some other items and uh, the software did be kind enough and give me four of those rubber knives so I gonna do a video on it and then I gonna resell it I'm I'm not gonna use uh, rubber knives but uh, some of you maybe use it for training and then that is a good purpose. So the knife itself, the rubber knife comes in uh, clear packaging, we see there the number, that's all what it is, how it comes. Uh, we see it's a one to one replica of the metal one, we see the, the double D guard here. The space here is enough even for bigger hands it has a good top guard as well and on the back of course is a like a nut that holds the blade into place this one of course is one solid injection molded construction there and uh, we see on the blade they put on training knife always wear a protection on the other side we see the cold steel there and of course it's completely dull, it has about 3 mm on the edge, the, the tip part is even bigger and the back, the, the whole thing is about 10 mm. <coughs> it uh, doesn't come with a sheet or anything like that and because of the thickness quite likely it's not going to fit in the regular knife sheet at all. So it is rubber for a reason we can do like this so if you if you're gonna train with it if you stab somebody other than, than the eye it's gonna gonna bend over like this and then flex a little bit back over time or you simply bend it a bit back so it is straight uh, some people put a bit of a felt pad on it and uh, dip it with a with a, like from a marker a fluid a, uh, ink you know then you see if you did cut the other person on the maybe white closing or something like that so that could be added on uh, this one pretty easy as well if you if you desire so that much about the cold steel d-guard training rubber knives <laughs> 